what's up guys it's horizon throws here back with another video today it's i know the haunt season is officially over like it, oh, it was over like a long time ago like actually already now like 10 days ago but basically i'm going to this special event at field of screams which you probably know what it is it's november 10th what else would it be and it's called the extreme blackout event so basically i don't know what's gonna go happen because apparently they can like I, I, I'll put a screenshot of what right here of like what ha they can do it. So yeah, this is this is the description of the event. But basically, um, I can't wait because I I I'm definitely doing the hayride first because I really want to see what they do with the hayride. So because that'll be like the the hayride is already my favorite attraction. So now it'll probably be like n like number one, like number one plus probably because it would be so good but yeah let's get there i'll see you guys when i'm there also i forgot to mention guys that this will be uploaded on my birthday so to me in two days happy birthday I, I will be 16 years old but yeah um I'll, I'll, now i'll see you guys when i'm there Guys, we are here. Um, I'm, I'm get, I'll get to you when I, I will, also I'm gonna record the instructions and I'll show you that. I actually just realized how far away we are. It's all the way up there. We parked all the way down there. I realized how far away we parked, but yeah. I see it, guys. It's the entrance is all the way down there. But I got a piss for so I'm gonna go to the porta parties. I, I, I got my, I got my wristband. So yeah. Cause I need to wish me if I'm a man or something. So I'm gonna film the woods and stuff. Hello. Under 18? Yeah. Awesome. There you go, have fun. Everybody know where they're at? I'm here guys, I'm getting on to the hayward, I'll show you. There's the hayward guys, you can barely see it because it's so dark, but here it is. Here we are guys. 
profanity are not permitted. Once the ride begins, please remain seated and keep your arms, legs, and all body parts inside the wagon at all times. Standing, kneeling, or leaning is not permitted. There is no touching actors or props, even though they may touch you. And do not throw the hay. Cameras, video cameras, lighters, and laser pointers are strictly forbidden on the haunted hay ride. So I just realized I got you a bit ago, but basically now I did the hay ride and now I'm doing nocturnal wasteland. I um so I would explain what happens in each attraction when I when I'm about to leave, like when I'm walking to my mom's car, and then and then I'll explain everything in very high deal detail because every literally I don't get this, but every other um extreme blackout video on YouTube it doesn't explain it that much like so i'm gonna explain literally everything that happened literally everything so i just got out of nocturnal wasteland and I, uh, my two friends with you got pulled is that they had to eat sardines i don't know why like one guy was threw up but basically i did not get the extreme blackout experience in nocturnal i don't know why i watched the mic off the mark off as you can see it but yeah, I, I don't even know if you can hear me, we can't have self-titled this. So I went to the family, it's something on my face, I don't know what, but I'll check the video later. This event is amazing so far. I got stuff to all of my face. I, in the last one, which I think was the den, I got, I tried, I, I got stuff that I was trying, that people try to feed me or like maybe drink or whatever. But I was just because I don't want, because apparently they put vinegar in your mouth or like, Sardines, these, these guys in front of me, a sardines in the nocturnal wasteland, and um, they almost puked, so I really don't want sardines. So, um, in line for at, at the front of Asylum, and the one thing I got to roll on my face, can you see that way? Can you see that? Yeah, I got to roll on my face. Oh, there's a <laughs> Guys, I had to drink something and I, it was like cranberry juice or fruit punch or something. But it, I mean, I don't like cranberry so if it's that, then I probably won't like it. This is what they have at the screen shop. And also, some of them here so cheap actually. What is that? Oh, they have like a crystal, um, uh, what is this? Keychain with this. That's only six of them. Um, they have a skeleton. Oh, they have lots of teddy bears. So, I just got out of Fear Streams Extreme Blackout and now it's time for the review. So basically what I did first was the Haunted Hayride and um, basically, so what happened with the Haunted Hayride is in the pig scene. Well not, I just call it the pig scene, it's called the slaughterhouse, the uh, four scene. I have a clip of that so I'll show that right here, but basically what happened, or what happens is um, there's 
the I saw like I saw the that the pigs in like the patrol pigs in front of me were like were like physically attacking people like pulling their legs and stuff. So yeah, and then um and then yeah, I didn't really get attacked, but what I did get is um basically a pig like went over me um and I don't know I I might have a clip of that I don't know but if I do I'll show it right here once again but basically what I what the next scene is the laboratory aka the shit Cairo confinement and then what happens is so but oh this is actually interesting because what happens is like when the insane doctor is saying his line He's literally spray like um spraying like a smoke blast on the people's faces. I wish I I wish I got that on video, but basically yeah, he's blasting a smoke blast on the people's faces. So like so like he did like mine as well. So there was like smoke in my there was like fog in my face or whatever. And then the na the second part of the laboratory scene, which is like where all the prisoners escape, um. What, this was also interesting because he, basically what happened was the there was this guy who like went up to my face and then screamed and I, I forget what he was saying but he basically screamed and it um and he got like insanely close to my face like he got like this close to my face like insanely close um and then the next scene which I believe is the toxic waste dump nothing really happened i'm pretty sure yeah nothing really happened um but basically what did happen is yeah there's nothing really special about this scene so moving on um then what happened uh i forget the, oh wait the next i'm pretty sure the next scene is actually the clowns right i forgot but basically with the clowns um it was actually kind of interesting because I forget if it was this scene or another scene, but basically, I think this scene, someone tried to make me drink something. Um, I forget though, because I think someone tried to make me drink something. Um, because like, they, I, I think they were trying to, they were like, playing, trying to put some, like, score something in my mouth. Um, like one of the clowns. So yeah, and then, uh, and then what happened, actually, I forget the to oh, total number of scenes, like, and what all of the ones I'll just say these randomly. So then there was the um the the I believe it was the um oh wait it was the greenhouse scene I'm pretty sure and what I don't even know what I'm um, I'm just gonna move on because I actually don't know what happens because the lights were flashing so much that I couldn't even see what was going on. I actually couldn't even see what was going on. So um yeah and then the scene after that was the hillbilly scene aka the cowboy scene basically what happened was nothing really happened until the end where i saw these other girls were getting were like were like the, one of the hillbillies was like in their face like making them like fall down and saying like you laughing like something about like something trying to make them like not laugh or something um yeah and then it comes the guillotine scene, which, oh, this is actually funny. So what happens is right as the, I knew there was going to be more blood and gore than normal. So basically what happens is right before the guillotine, right as the guillotine cuts the girl's head off, um, there's this, like, bl there's blood that, um, that's, like, squirts on your face very violently. So, yeah. Um, and then comes the, what comes next? Oh, the chop shop. Um, nothing really happened to me at least. Um, oh, oh, actually I missed something. So after the clown scene, they actually stopped the hair white because someone got pulled off. But I didn't get pulled off, damn it. But I did get pulled off in another, um, scene, which, or not scene. And I did get pulled off in another, um, attraction which I'll mention later so basically then comes the like room of like the, the illusion I'm assuming the time's up room and literally nothing happens okay like what what do you do like I don't know 
but then it comes the infamous chainsaw scene, which, um, not really much happened, at least I didn't know anything that happened because, um, I didn't know anything that happened because I only got chainsawed once by one guy just like the last time I went. Oh, no, it was Don't Have Me in the Origin. But basically, um, yeah, so that's what happens with the chainsaw scene. Now on to the Dana Vanel. Now on to the Nocturnal Wasteland.